Here we're going to have a look at creating some fog. And we're just going to place a few simple objects in the scene and see how they disappear into the distance. So first things first, we'll create a big plane and we'll set the scale and the density to 20. Now on this we're going to place a box, so make sure we have the auto grid. We'll create a box in the top left hand corner and we'll create a sphere, don't forget the base to pivot. We'll create a sphere in the distance and a good old teapot quite close. Now using the perspective viewport we're just going to change the view so that we can see all three of our objects. I'll maximise this view for you. We can see all three of the objects and you can see that the teapot is close then the box is a little bit further away and the sphere is a lot further away. Now it's nice and easy to do the fog. We click on rendering environment and under atmosphere effects we click on add. And make sure you don't choose volume fog, we're looking just normal fog for his. So for normal fog click on OK and we'll stick with all of the default settings. We won't worry about all of these settings for the minute and we'll render our scene. And you can see that the other objects have now completely disappeared. So we'll just see how a sky light affects our scene and just put that there for now and we'll add light tracer Here another render and we'll see if we can see any objects in the distance still it takes slightly longer to render you can just make out the box in this corner here but wow, the sphere has completely disappeared I'm going to cancel this render and we'll adjust some of the fog properties now. So remember it's the rendering menu then environment, select the fog again and we have different values. So if we reduce the far value down to about 50%, just rough, do another render. The objects aren't quite as fogged. Almost there. Now we have another type of fog that we'll have a look at when this render is finished and that's layered fog and we can have a look at this we'll increase our far back up to 100% and we'll change our fog to layered and we'll have it we've got top and bottom we'll see what the default values come up with so we have So at the moment the fog is quite white. Cancel that. We'll try different options. So some of this will be trial and error to get the options that you want. And what we'll do is we'll reduce the top down to zero and we'll increase the bottom to 25. We'll have the fall off at the top and render this one. And you can see there's no fog at the top at all. You can see that the objects are now sitting in I suppose an effect that you'd see in horror movies. So you can have layered fog.
in Hoverplay, some of the settings, what they do, you can add some horizon noise so the further away the fog gets, it has noise applied to it. You can change how dense the fog is. So if I put this down to 10%, change the bottom to 10, we've now, it'll be lower down on the objects and it won't be as thick. So last render, we'll have a look at this effect. So the fog isn't quite as thick. So you can see fog is an interesting addition to your tool sets and have a play.